Because if you go to the, the, the next, again, I have a slide over If you go to the next page in the lab or the next couple dealing with blood, the key with this is we are uh, we're going to be using your blood. Okay, do they have these things? Not everybody has to do their own blood typing if they're a, a fear. But we do have band-aids. <laughs> but but, uh, but most people like to do it because it doesn't take long to do your blood type and we see you know what they are and if, if they match. And so you're going to use this little thing we'll show you, and you it's like a little lancet, and it just goes real fast, it doesn't hurt too much. Okay, and uh, just make sure your hands are warm, like mine are already cold, you know, you, know, you want to make sure you get some blood coming out. But the bottom line, the reason I do this is, okay, it's back there, that, uh, that these, you know, this is the sharps with blood. Anything you're using with blood, uh, we're going to have cards in which we're doing it. You don't want to throw in the trash. And you want to use gloves, or at least you know, per person handling the, the gloves. So again, anything gloves or we're going to have a little card with your blood typing in. It's just it's this uh, you know, cardboard that goes in here. The little sharpies go in here, you know, so we can, they don't go in the trash. So don't throw any gloves stuff in the trash. That's the bottom line. Uh, and wear gloves. And we have gloves over there. And you know, use a paper towel. Don't get blood on the table. If not, we can clean it up with um, fluid over there. You can have the same. All right. So that's just safety, so that's all. So we move on. Okay, da da da. The, uh, th there's a section that kind of looks like that, talking about how you count red blood cells. We're not going to count red blood cells, so we skip that. Because our scopes, it's just not worth the time. Then there's a page. On differential white cell count. Everybody see the differential white cell count? Yes? yes? It has the white blood cells listed. Okay, yes. the idea of that is uh, you can look on the, we have prepared slides that basically over there, that if we had good scopes, maybe in time we'd look at them. But overall, what we'd see is a small percentage of these white blood cell types. So there's neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. And you can see sort of how they stain. And you'd scan through it and you'd see these and you'd say, that's a lymphocyte, that's a neutrophil, okay? But well, we're not going to do that. So these cell types are going to be in Chapter 24, and we're going we're to talk about them then. And maybe if we have some sort of partial lab quiz, I usually put a couple of these up and you identify them. But we don't have to worry about it now. So we're not worrying about it now. So we're done with that part, okay? Let's move on. <laughs> Now, there's two things we're going to do, which is C and D. We're going to do blood typing, okay, and we're going to take your hematocrit. And so I've already talked about what a hematocrit is, and so this is going to require your blood. So the thing is, I have to give, I'm going to give a lecture on, uh, on how to, you know, to German blood typing, as far as if you're given blood type, you know, uh, what you can receive and who can receive it. Because that's important. I've got blood type problems online with answers. Because that's going to be even on that test. So I want to give my lecture on that 20 minutes or something so you have an idea of how that works. And then, then you're going to do two things. You're going to basically, God, and, and we'll kind of go this. You're going to use the cards over there with your, uh, you know, with uh, using the lancet for the blood. Here's going to be the antibodies. I'm going to show you how this works. You basically are going to do your blood test. So drop, drop, drop there with, the, with these antibodies I'll talk about. And some will clump, some won't. I'll tell you which, what that means for blood type. Boom. So that's one physical thing you're going to do. Now, while you're bleeding, if you go, if you go to the hematocrit section, D, while you're bleeding, you're going to basically. Uh, But as you're bleeding, uh, you know, I shouldn't, you're not going to be probably bleeding enough, but you're going to squeeze it out. Basically, this capillary tube, there's a blue end to it, which is sort of has heparin to, to sort of you know, decrease any clotting. You basically, and use some gravity here too, you know, it's capillary. You basically put, you put your bleeding finger on top, <laughs> and it's going to suck up the blood. And, you know, try to get at least halfway, and maybe three quarters if you can. And then, again, I'll, I'll find here, we're going to plug up the other end with clay. And then we're going to put them in that centrifuge over there. And I'm going to make sure, you're going to write the number down, I'm going to make sure that it's balanced. They look in TV, these beautiful people just put one tube in and it's magic. Okay, we, we don't want these cracking up. So we're going to balance it. And you're going to basically do your hematocrit, just like I said. 
Okay, you're going to measure your blood cells for your total and figure out what your hematocrit is. And you know, it should be between 40 and 50 percent, unless you're anemic or if you're taking you know, blood blood doping. I don't know if any of you are doing. The label is it measure? No, you're going to have to in the in the back of the the back of the lab book actually has a little. Uh, Ruler back then. So you're literally going to measure your blood versus the whole using that, or if you have your own you know, uh, ruler as well. Alright, so so let me get your attention. Let me do how to describe blood typing. Uh, again, do the blood typing prompts are on that test, so it's a good time to do that. And then I'll let you do both of those. And then uh, have a sign up sheet to make sure you sign, you can take a break, you can go then, or uh, again, or we can review, you know, you and I can review part of the lab test coming up a week from today. Any questions in general about the lab test? Uh, is there multiple choice? No. And so it's going to be all written. You need a, a, because a lot of them are calculations. So you need to calculate it with the log function. I might have a couple that I can love that you borrow. It can't be a graphing calculator. You can't share calculators. You can't use your phone. Okay? So uh, you need a basic calculator. It has, the only function you need besides normal ones is log. Because we're going to do the pH, which is a log function. Okay, so it's all written. They can be partial credit. That means there's no, it's not, it's not scan time at all. You know, there's, it's worth 60 points, and there's 15 to 70 questions. I'll talk more about specifically, you know, later on, uh, on that. Okay, uh, blood type. I'm going to do this in two sections here. And again, I'm going to have this idea of drawing it. So one, two. So I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk about RH groups yet. I'm just going to talk about the basics, and then we're going to add the RH factor in. And so, is that the chart that's on the average should be I don't know what's on your lab. Just, no, no. So yeah, but there's nothing really on your on your sheet. <laughs> so again. The, uh, now, if you already know a different way to do all this, again, I don't care. Do it your own way. But this is the way I describe and I teach you to kind of do it. You know, before you do RH factor, we have the basic three types, four types of blood. A, B, A, B, or no. Those are the four basic blood groups. And I draw two rows here because what I want to be describing, which will be important, is the idea of what are the, what's on the cells. And okay, we call the surface markers on cells antigens. So, what are the antigens on the cells for the blood type? What proteins are on them? And then, what antibodies for someone of that blood type is there is in the serum, you know, or plasma of of the person? Because remember, we have cells and we have the non-cellular part. The non-cellular part also contains antibodies. Okay, so you look at. It. These are my cells. If you're type A blood, guess what marker you have on your cell? A. Okay? Again, all these are, are certain glycoproteins. I don't even think we know the function of them, but they're important because if you have antibodies against them, your blood's going to come out of solution, agglutinate, transfusion reaction, death. So that seems important. So overall, if you're type A blood, it's called that because you have this A antigen, you have this protein on the surface where you've named A. If you're type B blood, you have B. If you're type AB blood, you have A and B. And if you're type O, you have neither of those. You still have proteins on the surface of your cells, but neither of these two. Okay? These are going to be what we, when we call your blood groups what you have. If you're type A blood, you have the A antigen. Type B, you have B. AB, you have both. O, you have neither of those. Okay? This is what's on your blood cells exactly. Now, antibodies react, and the idea is, if you have A blood cells, an antibody, so anti-A, is basically, that's, that's our antibody, we're just calling it that now. That's going to basically take these, and you, know, you actually see on this, basically bind another one. It's going to bind a bunch of your blood cells and basically precipitate them, take them out of solution. Okay. Instead of being individual, it's going to make a clump. And we'll actually see that when we do uh, the uh, your actual blood typing on, on, the, uh, on the paper. You'll see that your blood's going to clump out. And that's when an antibody reacts with the cells. With antigen. So that's, that's bad. 
Okay. That's real bad. That's like blood clotting. Right? That's, that's, that's not blood clotting, because blood clotting is normal and uses the clotting factor. But it will, it, will, it will be similar to that, except it will be inappropriate. Basically, these antibodies will go through the system and take all the blood out of our body. You know, and basically, that's what a transfusion reaction is, because the cells are no longer you know, floating around. They're in big clumps. So, uh, no, that's not blood clotting. Okay? So that's sort of the idea of that. It's bad. That's what antibodies do. But, of course, it's not all bad. <coughs> So when we look at this right now, that means we're talking about two types of antibodies right now, anti-A and anti-B. Okay? Now, the anti-A and anti-B are, are called natural antibodies. Some of this is probably in the introduction of that. So natural antibodies, which are the, again, I'm calling them as one that will react against A or against B. That means you basically have these when you're born. You don't need to be, we'll talk about primary immune response. You don't have to be exposed to the antigen to make the antibody. Okay, we all sort of know what the details of it. That's why we have vaccines that, you know, you get exposed to an antigen, uh, you start, you know, you basically, you know, that's why we actually get a, you know, a shot that basically you'll develop, you know, what we call primary response. The next time you do it, then we'll have a big response. Okay, so you really, really don't have any antibodies until we see it. This one, you're born with the, the particular antibody. So these are natural antibodies. You're basically born with the right ones. So you're born with, you, know, you do not need to see the antigen first. We're going to show you RH is different. But we're just doing this. All right? So that means the following, OK? You know, you, you're not going to make an antibody against yourself, OK? So if you're anti, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're A blood, okay, now we're seeing, okay, well, what are your antibodies? Are you going to have anti-A antibody in your blood? No. But <coughs> anti-B, yes. yes. Okay, so you have what doesn't hurt you, but you have the other. So you have anti-B. So, so it's going to be the opposite, basically. Y yes. Except for AB. Yes. So, so <laughs> yes, yes, let's go in, okay? So... If you're type B blood, you're going to have anti-A. If you're type AB blood... Anti-O. No, there is no O. Okay, O just means you, have, you don't have either of those. That means you don't have either of those antibodies. If you're O though, AB. you have both. So you have anti-A and anti-B. Okay? And this is going to help us with the whole idea of what I'm going to be talking about. If you're a given blood type, what blood could you receive? Who can receive your blood safely? And once we do that, we'll do a couple problems, then we just add the RH factor, and then we're done with the lecture, and you can start to, you know, again, there's problems on, there's problems in the book, but there's problems online that I have you practice with to actually see if you can. <coughs> but this makes sense over all right? So this is generally when your blood types, what, what you have on your surface and what you have, uh, you know, in your serum. And clearly, already, you can kind of see the idea is you don't want a combination. You don't want the reaction. If you're type B blood, do you want type A? When you're receiving blood, okay, when, you, when we're talking about blood donation receiving, this is really important. It's the cells. You're receiving the cells. So we're not, if you're receiving, we're not saying you're receiving, like, if you get, if type B blood is getting type A, you're not getting the cells and the anti-B. That'd be really, really weird, right? You're only getting the cells. But if you're type B, would you want those cells? No, because then you'd have that clumping. So you don't want the same cells. So we worked a couple, okay? And let's just take Joe. Okay? And let's say Joe is type A blood. And don't, you know, even if you know the answers right away on this, again, let me sort of work, work through these. If type, okay, Joe is type A blood, and so there's two questions that we'll have that we'll answer. We'll have, uh, let me do this one first. Who can safely receive Joe's blood? And again, if, you're, again just, if you know this already, just have patience and don't shout out the answer. Who can receive Joe's blood safely? And the other question is, what blood can, can Joe receive? I'll show you the way I do it. Okay. So my first one is who can receive Joe's blood? Now, Joe's blood looks like what? 
like that. Right? Does everybody agree? He's type A. That's his blood. That's his blood cells. All right? Let me just even put this up there so I remember. That's Joe. And so the way I sort of just to visually do it, again, you can have your other ways, is basically, uh, I basically look, the person, the person has, again, I'm down here because this is where we are, the person has these antibodies and it's receiving that cells. I want to see, can that person safely receive it? So these are the cells. Okay, let's look at A. Okay, so right now you're basically from this point. So if you're type A blood, can you receive A? Yes. It's not a problem. So, who can receive Joe's blood if you're type A? Okay. Now, now we're type B. If you're type B, can you receive that? You're anti-A and you'd be getting A. That would be bad. How about AB? Yes. yes. Right? You only, the only, you only don't receive if you get an action. If you get an anti with, with the antigen, boom, you don't receive it. Guess what? AB's looking cool, okay? AB's like, hey, I can almost receive anything, almost. Okay? So, AB. What if you're type O? No. Okay, you, you don't want any of that A on. So who can receive right now? A and AB. When, when you're asking what blood can Joe receive, okay, this is Joe. I'm Joe. Okay, but again, now we're just saying, we're, we're basically, we're just looking, this is the antibody I got, what blood can I receive? So, can I receive A blood? Sure. Okay. The key is we don't want to see this thing, do we? Can I receive B blood? No. You don't want to see a reaction. Okay. That's when it's bad. And Joe's, this is his antibody. He's just getting these cells. A is cool. Anything with a B is really not a good day. So he can't receive B. Can he receive AB? How about O? O is looking cool. We all like O. We all can receive O, but we're going to add RH in a, in a minute. So A and O. So, when you're looking at what blood he can receive, you're looking at the antibody serum? You're, when, when I'm, again, when I'm doing it, I'm saying, this is his antibody serum. Uh -huh. And he's seeing which oh, blood can he okay. receive. Because you don't have to, this is just the way I do it, right? Because I like to have visual things so I can put this on. Mm -hmm. You've got some other way, or memorization, or la la la, hey, you just go for it, okay? I don't care. But this way, sort of the two ways to do it, is, is again, I'm sort of looking at, that's why I sort of list it this way. Let's do one more and then I'll add RH. Yes, sir. Um, the O blood has anti B, so why can't he receive it? The he why can't Joe receive it? Yes. Joe is receiving the cells. Cells. So and he can so that's why it, and that, that's why that's really an important point, right? Because people are like, if you're receiving a whole blood, you're like, hey, I'm I'm B and I'm getting anti B. It just doesn't work that way, okay? You're only receiving the cells. So when you're receiving, you're saying, okay, these are the antibodies I got. What am I getting? And you don't want to match, okay? If you're type Let's say I'm Jill. I'm really original here. <laughs> now, let's get Jesse involved, okay? I got his autograph. Okay? She'll definitely get an A in my class now. <laughs> so, uh, so, so we have Jesse here. And I don't know his blood type, but let's say it is O. Okay? Jesse's type blood O. We asked the same question, so we do it my way. Well, who can receive his blood safely, of course? And what blood, because he needed blood, by the way. What blood? Actually, I do, if you go back, you see, the geek will actually know his blood type, because I actually mentioned one of the episodes. <laughs> what blood? I have to find that out from other class. And just see. Okay, safe blood. All right. So, again, the way I do it is, to, as far as who can receive the blood, that this is Jesse's blood. This is what you're getting, okay? Because you're only getting the cells. And I'm taking, basically saying, this guy has this antibody. I'm basically taking one at a time. So this guy, type A blood has anti-B. Can he receive O? Okay? This guy, type B blood, has anti-A. Can he receive O? Yes. This guy has no antibodies. Any problem there? No. And this guy, is there a problem here? No. No. So right now, who can receive this? But really, it won't be everyone. Will. A, B, A, B, and O. Right now, without adding the RH complication, yes. Okay? O seems to be the universal donor. But it's going to be a specific type of O, either O neg or O pos, that will actually deal with it. We're going to add RH next. But everyone sort of see that. 
okay? And maybe even memorize that. But let's look at the other way. What blood can Jesse receive? Now, this is Jesse, but let's actually just kind of do it this way that I've done it here. This is Jesse, and again, what we're saying is, okay, here's his antibodies. He's seeing what cells he can receive. So can he receive A? No. Boom. Can he receive B? No. Boom. How about this? No. Ah, okay. So the idea is he can only receive O. And again, you can do all, you can do that with any of those. Okay? And again, you can do it a different way, I don't care. Are we ready for RH? What is RH? RH is just another antigen. And so you either have this RH, this protein on the surface, or you don't. Okay? Again, these things have like no no again, I haven't updated them lately, but they don't even know like a function of the proteins, but the idea is because there's antibody reactions, we care about them. So it's just some protein on the surface of some cells and not on others. Okay? And if you have it, you're Rh positive. If you don't have it, you're Rh negative. Okay? So, but of course it's going to become important because we're going to combine these. So in general, okay, then we're doing the same way. These are the cells. Okay, the serum. We'll make the same two columns. Now, and I'm going to add something in a minute. Okay, so if you're if you're Rh positive, are you going to have? Are you going to make antibodies against yourself? No. So no, you do not have the any anti-Rh. No. Okay. Any other questions? If you're Rh negative, okay. Here is one difference. The RH antibody, so I call it anti-RH, is not a natural antibody, which means if you know if you haven't been exposed to this, because obviously you can make it if you're exposed. If you haven't been exposed to this, you don't have the antibody. Once you're exposed to it, then you're going to go through kind of what we'll talk about later. That you know you actually have a full-fledged uh, uh, antibody, you know, ready to, to uh, if you got it again to actually attack it. So the first time you can receive it, you can potentially be okay, but you don't want to, because then you have your, your primary antibodies ready. The next time you do it, you'll have a full-fledged transfusion reaction. So it's kind of the idea that you know if you're Rh negative, and you're out you know in a field of conditions or something, and they only only have Rh positive of your type, maybe you can receive it then, and you might be okay, but you don't want to. Okay. So in this case, we're not anything I'm doing. We're not in sort of field emergency conditions, which means that these don't have it, but you basically do not want to receive Rh positive blood. Why? Okay? Because if you receive it, you're going to make an antibody against it. And once you have anti-Rh, if you see that again, and we're going to talk about pregnant mom in a minute, if you see that again, that blood will react and agglutinate, you know, come out of solution just the same, using an anti-Rh with that. It's the same idea, but we're using a different antibody. Instead of anti-O, anti-B, we have anti-Rh. So, so it says no antibodies? Because you're not going to make an antibody, I mean, we're talking Rh only. Uh -huh. You're not going to make an antibody against yourself. So you don't care, and we'll actually do this. If you're Rh positive, okay, which is this, uh -huh. we're asking just from this, what blood can you receive? Okay, we're asking that question here. Can you receive Rh positive blood? Yeah. Can you receive Rh negative blood? <clears throat> sure. You're not going to ever make an antibody. You don't care if it's, it's there or not. You're never going to make an antibody. If you're Rh positive, you can receive both because it's not going to be a problem. Okay, does everyone see that? You know, if you're Rh positive, you're never going to make an antibody against Rh. So you can get Rh positive blood, but Rh negative blood, what's the, what's the problem? There's nothing there. You're not going to react either. So you can receive both. If you're Rh negative, okay, because you, you know, negative here, you don't have it, can you receive Rh negative blood? Yes. Sure. But how about positive? Mm -hmm. No. So you can only safely receive negative. Rh negative. If you receive Rh positive, you might make an antibody and cause a problem. Okay? But Rh positive doesn't care. So now we can come over here and finalize the first, you know, and again, you can practice on your own if you can do it. Let's, 
Let's make do this. We'll add. Okay. So now we have the blood typed arm just, you know, what it is before, we're going to add it. This person is A what? A negative. This person is? Okay. This person is? A B negative. And this is? O positive. Okay. So, so let me do, so, so and everybody get how we do that. We just have it or not. Now this is, again, how we're going to do it the same way. And again, you could do it a different way, but we're not going to do it this way. Let's make, let's actually do Jesse. But, hey, Jesse's going to be O positive. Okay, who can receive Jesse's blood? Now, check it out. Because all you have to do is look over there and then do what we did before. So, you know, if, you're, if it's positive blood, can positive people receive it? Yes, yes. Do negative people want to receive it? No. So the answer is going to be only the positives of the appropriate one. Does everyone get that? Just going for that. So now it's easy. Now you do the same thing. Because now you're not worried about that. Oh, it's only going to be the positive of that. And you do the same thing. And I erased it, but we can kind of go. So this is Jesse. So again, can Jesse receive uh, can, can Jesse receive the A? No. B. Yes. A B. No. Oh. Wait, wait, you can receive B, right? The, 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 the no, or which one am I doing? Oh, who can receive Jesse's blood? Sorry. Sorry, I did that first. So Jesse's blood is what? It's O Positive. and R H. Okay, R H factor. So let's go. Sorry, I did the other one already. So, can A receive it? No. Sure. No, no, no. The, right now, again, the way we're doing this is, is, is the idea is that we've already figured out it's only going to be the positives. That's what I do first. So, I'm not actually, you know, I'm not actually worrying about what these are, okay? I'm just worried about, because we already know it's only going to be the positives that receive it. So, we're just doing what we did before, okay, without worrying about what I put up here. Because we already know it's, we're not going to put the negatives of the, of the blood type. All we have to know are the blood types again. So can, you know, in general, so we, the idea is only positives are going to receive it. So can, can A type blood receive O blood? Yes. Yes. Can B type blood receive O blood? Yes. AB? Yes. And O? Yes. Okay. So we have A, B, AB, and O. Is Jesse the universal donor? Oh. No. oh, no. Only positives can receive it. So the correct answer is only these four blood groups can receive it. A plus, A positive, B positive, AB positive, O positive. The universal donor is O neg. Okay? It has nothing on it. Everybody, both positives and negatives, can receive it. But that's why, sort of doing this first, you kind of just realize positive blood can only be received by positive people safely. Negative people don't want, to want that because they're going to basically make antibodies. So the universal donor is not O, it's O negative. O positive, only the positives can receive. Any O, any o negs here? No? Usually I get a couple. We like you guys. Because basically, you can donate, or you donate to everybody, but you can, by the way, only receive O negs, so you sort of you know, messed up. But, okay. So then O can receive all the blood? No, 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 no. That's the opposite, right? Okay. O, well, we're going to do that. Okay, so, because we we're, we're already figured out who can receive that blood, we want to know what he can receive, right? So, we want to know, the second question is, what blood can Jesse receive? Because I thought over there in the chart it says you can receive both R positive and R negative. The, we're doing Jesse now. We're seeing what he can receive now. And so, the answer, and that's what I was about to do, is this is who can receive this blood, and we figured, you figured out it was only positive. Right. Okay, now we're on this side. And now if Jesse is positive, which he is, that means he can receive both positive and negative. Everybody agree with that? Okay, so, so he, can re he can just gonna receive both. But now we're basically on his cells again, and this is his cells. So again, can he receive A? No. Yes. Yeah. A and T A? No. Oh. Can he receive B? No. A, B? No. O. Oh. So, and... 
Because remember, if he's O positive, he doesn't care. He can get O positive or O negative. Positive can receive both because you're not, you know, you're not gonna, never going to make an antibody. So again, you don't have to do it this way. But for me, if you just figure out right at the beginning what the RH is, you know, based upon that, whether the, whether it's only going to be one or both, then you just do this the other way. Okay, you just go back the, the original way in doing it. Does it take practice? If, yeah. It's going to be this because it's in chapter 24. It's going to be on the next lecture exam. Okay, okay. So, which is in two and a half weeks or so. And that's why, again, some of you might have it, some of you might already have it. Some are like, wait, I, I can't get this right yet. I have, there's problems there, but I have work problems, you know, blood type problems online, and I have the answer sheet online. So I recommend, you know, asking me later, asking at any point, and also working those and seeing if you get that. And there'll be a couple of those on that. So, um, to simplify it, basically the receiving cell can't match the activity. The, like as far as their A, B, C, D. The, the, uh, the, the, re the recipient, the cells can't match their antibodies. Right. Yeah, the antigens okay. can't match it, right. Because that's when you're going to have this agglutination. Okay? So, last thing i got to say is actually how you're going to do the blood typing. So, in this case, what we're going to do is... Where's my little card? You're going to do blood typing on yourself. And you're going to have sort of a card here. I guess I'll do it as it is. And you're going to basically have, sometimes we have wells. But basically